Hello guys, my name is Adam Shadow and today I will show you the most overpowered thing in this game. And that is the scout helicopter together with the uh, handheld PLD uh, laser designator. I'm currently mounting uh, ammo boxes for my friend Shadow Pedro on the on this helicopter and as you can see he already managed to lock on a tank and I killed it. Normally these missiles do only 30 damage to tanks and cannot be locked on to enemy air vehicles. However, if you have a nice guy like Pedro who sits next to you and locks onto things, for example like this attack heli, you can lock onto them like you do with the tank so flam or the IFV so flam. And then you can uh, basically one hit kill it with these missiles and there's except ECM no way for them to avoid it. Pedro is also using the sniper kit with the uh, uh, explosive fire grounds for the shotgun. As you can see, second tank destroyed. I'm killing tanks faster with this one than with pretty much any other vehicle in the game. Even the tank heli would have issues. And as you can see on the north, we have a very fast moving car, which is generally not an issue for these missiles. Pedro doesn't even need to lock them on. The biggest problem is actually reloading them, since it takes so long. I almost got hit by the tow missile. I'm not sure what's chasing me, but let's deal with this en enemy LAV. And he is running because he probably realized what's going to happen. Let's try and get this attack heli. As you can see, I'm completely out of ammo right now, and I'm pretty much bottlenecked by the firepower of the helicopter. And someone is walking on. Pedro <laughs> even managed to scare that jet. Let's run him over, just for the balls. Or maybe Pedro kills him. Pedro, kill him! Okay, then not. Maybe someone got him before. Or maybe I covered it with the ECM smoke. Pedro is using the IRNV of the Saiga 12. Because the FLIR has way too much zoom. And now we are going to... You can, you can still do the normal scout heli roll. And I didn't even give Pedro time to look that guy on. Let's see this enemy scout heli. He deployed his flares. And... Now he should die. Well, he made it easier for himself and suicided. Thankfully the game is also rewarding Pedro quite a lot for his actions by uh, giving him a, a lot of points for doing this, so if you for some reason want to get some unlocks or... What is this? Oh, here we go, Pedro! So here you can see this nice dude. Well, too late. I headshot at him three times or so. <laughs> oh, Jet, come at me! The scout heli is already a hard counter to Jets. Like you can see, I disabled him. I will re 
replenish the ammo box for Pedro. You can also drop C4 on enemy vehicles from this position, that's quite risky. And a nice little transport heli is approaching. As you can see, this server has quite the density, so I'm constantly under fire. Okay, that also works. That tank is trying to do the same to me. I'm afraid that will be the last thing he does. And we have a bunch of tanks. And I don't have any missiles. <laughs> like these problems. Imagine you are so effective that the only thing that limits you is how, how much ammo you have. I don't drop C4 on him. Be careful. Detonate. Nice! As you can see, that's also a very effective strategy against the main battle tanks, since their entire options are so limited they are practically ineffective. Let's refill ammo. Here's your ammo, go get it! I'm using the perk that allows me to drop two ammo boxes. Now we have a car leaving from... or not leaving from F. Just sitting there. Pedro is aiming a little bit too low. Let's try. Oh! We have an enemy scout heli! Okay, I might die to this. Or not, because they are bad. Thankfully he did not set me on fire. Because I have no way of repairing. But I'll try to work on the AH again. He should not have ECM. Oh, he, and he of course has it. Maybe I can steal the kill from someone, and I stole it. Yeah. I don't think that will hit. Oh, and it hit, as you can see, 45 damage, and I disabled him. Well, not disabled him, but basically prevented him from moving. Let's see if this scout heli tries that again. Of course he does. Now I will fly high and after him, so he has no way of... Bye-bye. There is nothing he can do right now. As you can see, I comfortably destroyed it. And I will do the really cheesy thing of not going there and finishing him. Not because I don't want the kill, but because this guy is really annoying me and I don't know, could have shot this poor sport player. Nice. And we have another tank. I have one missile for him. Or maybe even the AH? I don't know. Okay, he jumped out. And I'll try splash damaging him. Okay, again. As you can see, I'm quite good with these helis. It can survive even situations where I should definitely die. Like that guy definitely shot me first. And there are police local to him. I got eyes on an enemy chopper. Okay, he's probably too far. Enemy now try it. He will lose his ECM in a couple seconds and die. I spotted a hostile tank. Goodbye. Bam. Yeah. He had no chance. Okay, I got the vehicle. I think I got one of them. It's quite tricky for him. It's definitely easier to use the small as an engineer. And we don't have our ammo boxes. I 
This is probably the most annoying thing about this strategy. There's your ammo. Well, it definitely pays ammo. off. Okay, Federal, lock onto the scout heli. Okay, he's dead. Nice. And we have the AH. I think he dies, or maybe not. Let's try lock on to him again. He should die now. And it still hit him! Bye bye. <laughs> they try to auto repair me. Like, sorry, I do anti damage to you guys. You won't auto repair me. And here we have the scout enemy. I did already 30 damage to him. But they're actually trying to see for him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he did quite some damage. That's quite, it's quite dangerous to see for. Like that, because he, he could have splashed damage me by accident. Okay, we will die. Oops. Or maybe not? Okay. I don't understand what the guy was trying to do. And he definitely failed. Oh! Shit. Oh. Okay, they are really tilted. <laughs> what I am doing to them, <laughs> and I don't blame them. <laughs> like I'm top of the scoreboard <laughs> with a scout heli on this map. Like normally on this map, you can sometimes farm infantry, but generally you don't do anything. An and please lock onto something. Oh. Okay, let's try the tank. Okay, I'm lagging. This hell. I think he either died or, or will, will die shortly. Uh oh, jet. Don't time me. Be a nice little jet. Oh! Hello. Scout heli. Scout heli doesn't have uh, ECM feather. Okay. Well. I don't think it would have saved him. Uh, there are infantry on the roof. Maybe better to kill some of them. Um, <laughs> that was an interesting strategy. Crouch in front of a scout heli and stop moving, like some sort of cockroach, and hope I, I don't see him or something. I am quite lagging. I even recently cleaned my PC. Maybe that tank could be on. I always switch away from the missiles in the wrong moment. Let's see if we can die and Pedro can then switch his kit. So I can show you how it looks from his perspective. But maybe let's kill a couple more. Okay. Let's kill this dude and then we can proceed. Okay. Pedro, now you will kill yourself and bring support with two ammo boxes. But wait, wait. Jump out of the heli. And now kill yourself so I can take your kit and I don't need to kill myself too. As you can see, I think he even had the compensator and ergo grip for some random reason. Better make sure you have the miniguns and laser guided missiles. And so once you are ready, just jump into my heli and I will switch. Okay. Objective Bravo 
The ammo is still on top, you don't need to replace it. But okay. We will have four ammo boxes. Now let me demonstrate. Here at F we have some tanks. I'm looking onto the tank north of F. I have him locked. Now I can walk to a different one. Got him. But uh, probably doesn't have missiles. I would guess. So let's see for him. I have to turn on my screen dot so I can aim. Okay, something is chasing us. Okay, it's the enemy transport heli. He's locked onto. And Pedro just eliminated him. And I got something like 400 points out of it. Which is pretty good. Uh, here we have a car to the, our north. Coming from C, I guess. Oh, that's the tank, okay. And the AA. Pedro is not as good of a pilot as I am, but he's still decent enough to execute this. Just, uh, just needs to run away. Oh, god, and we got killed by some random dude with the stinger. Let's continue. Here we have on this server extremely fast respawn. Clicking as fast as I can on the heli. Okay, let's go. Uh, and Pedro, uh, land and give me at least one ammo box. And I have flare, which is not perfect. Not the. Okay, well, that still works. Put it somewhere on the other side. Oh, I can see shit! It's important to put the it either on the left wing or on the back of the heli like I did. <laughs> because otherwise you get that thing happening. Okay, we are ready to go. I'm looking onto a tank that's coming from C. Just dodge. Like this has insane range, like it has 500 meters range. Walking onto the scout heli, at least trying. Now let's go for the attack heli. Ah, and he jumped out of range. Uh, IV at F. As you can see, the soft one can do some cheesy things like walk on through buildings. And another vehicle destroyed, and again, like 400 points. <laughs> At least you can see why, I, why I'm on top of the scoreboard and Pedro is close behind me, because we are getting just so ma many points from these squad vehicle assists. I'm looking onto a tank, north to, uh, north to F. Okay, and now let's go for something more important. And Pedro got him actually. This is obviously a bit tricky to fly a heli without being an engineer, and Pedro is just showing off his incredible flying skills. Uh, please turn a bit to the left, there was something on the hill, Pedro. Ah, uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I can destroy that. He really doesn't need my lock on for this. Okay, I got him with the canted iron sights. I 
can't even see the guy. Okay, I think Meadow got him. Or didn't he? Did the guy die? Whatever. Oh, there is some infantry, nor at, uh, above A and B, but that's, I think, a bit too risky. I should probably switch to the opposite wing, because now I am fairly ineffective. And I think Pedro put the ammo boxes there, so it won't be an option. Let's help with this infantry. Okay, got him. As you can see, my ammo is being replenished. The FLIR can be sometimes useful for spotting vehicles. Okay, I, I hit the wrong button. I'm looking onto the tank underneath us. Okay. It was really nice. Uh, scout heli. I'm looking onto him. If Pedro now follows, he has no chance to survive this. But Pedro has to probably dodge away because of the AA. Let's go to F, that was probably a better time. A on F, Pedro, careful. I'm logging on to it. So anyone else can also log to use these lock-ons, like tanks, other scout helicopters. And this enemy scout only just died. Let's lock on to the tank. Okay, Pedro got him. As you can see, you don't need to be as good at flying to utilize this technique. Pedro, be careful. A is still behind F, to the south of it. To the south of F. Oh god, we'll get shut down. <laughs> ow, 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 ow! Ah! Please, no! Okay, let, let, let's uh, go on the... I see it. Uh, hello. A at uh, under F, or south of it. I spotted it, and I'm trying to walk onto it. Now it's locked. Uh, vehicle destroyed, okay. I don't think that was Pedro, but it doesn't matter. Here we have the LAV, above F, or to the north of it. You can imagine how powerful this can be on maps like Parasol Storm. Okay, I hope Pedro had ammo. Yeah, it's certainly difficult when he's muted like this. I'm not sure what's walking on to us. But thank you all guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down any suggestions for future videos. Bye!